Hey guys, how's it going? It's going off grid and today we got the micro air easy start that we're going to be installing on this 15,000 BTU air conditioner. We're on the roof of my RV where there's also going to be solar panels all over this thing powering this air conditioner and this works with air conditioners and heat pumps so if you have an air conditioner that runs in reverse for a heat pump and uh, let's get to it. Let's start uh, installing this thing. Now that we've got the cover off, we got the cover sitting here and the other part of the clamshell there. And we got the micro start there, the easy start. We want to get into this compartment because that's where all the wires for the compressor go. And that's where the power coming from the electrical panel comes in as well. So we're going to access this by these two screws down here, these uh, Phillips screws. and. Uh, we're going to see how much room we have to work with in there. All right. So on Micro, Micro Air's Easy Start site, I just went on. I just used my camera of my cell phone, and I put it on the recreational vehicle here. And it came up with their web page with the uh, downloadable PDF for installation of this in particular uh, Micro Air, Air Easy Start. And so what I'm going to want to do here with following the instructions is I'm going to start with this brown wire which I am going to splice in line with the white wire off the compressor which goes into here which is actually this wire here. Uh, my capacitors are extremely dirty because there was a, a nest of some sort so I clean that off. I'm going to blow this out with some compressed air. So we're going to start with that. I'm going to get that sorted out and then we're going to move on to the other three wires and I'm just going to show you where each one go and like I said you get this piece of paper so I'm looking at it on my phone and I'm just correlating it with the diagram that's on the inside of my air conditioner panel and uh, yeah I can't wait to try this we're going to try uh, starting this thing without the easy start and then with the easy start and see how much less power it takes and what kind of inverter I can run it on. So here's the diagram on my phone, what I'm following here. And I'm going to start off with my spliced wire, my brown wire that's splicing into the white on the compressor. This, as you can see, bring you guys up just a little bit here. Let's see if we can see it. There we go. This here, this is your compressor. Here's your white compressor wire. It's right here. So I'm splicing into here. And in my bag of goodies here, I have a little splicer that I'll be using. And I'll splice into here with this brown wire on the easy start. Let's get to it. Okay, so far I have two wires connected. So this brown wire here, this splices into where the original white wire on the compressor, which is right here, it connected to this capacitor here, right here. So the brown wire gets spliced in. You no longer need this wire to the capacitor. So I just, I'm putting shrink wrap over it. I'm gonna keep my the option end in case I ever want to take the easy start off of this trailer for some reason, if I sell it or anything like that. But this needs to be completely covered, so I'm going to shrink wrap that, and then I'm going to put some high temperature uh, electrical tape over it. And so 
After you get your brown wire spliced into the original white wire, you take the white wire from your easy start, which is coming out of here, and you put that in place of the original white wire. Your orange wire is going to go on the other side of your capacitor, or the red wire coming from your compressor, as you can see. So, your compressor's white wire is coming to this one, red wire is going to that one. So, white wire of your easy start is going to where the white wire was, orange wire is going to the red wire. And then, your black wire is coming from the overload side of your compressor, which is here. It's a black and purple, it's labeled as blue. Uh, you just gotta find it, it's the overload side, so that's coming out, and that is connecting to the black wire from your easy start. So I need to splice into here. I'm gonna splice directly into this black wire itself, because that's coming directly off of the overload of the compressor. And we'll go from there. Okay, so we got the easy start hooked up. And we're gonna try this out now. We're gonna test this with the generator, the on-grid. First, we're gonna go test on grid five times like they say you're supposed to do so that the microcontroller in here can learn your specific AC unit and how much power it draws and all the characteristics of it. And I'm going to heat shrink this and then I'm gonna put this back together after. But we're gonna try it with it open first because I wanna make sure everything works. And let's go test this baby out. All right, we're about to try it for the first time on the easy start. We got both meters in view. Got it go quickly because my battery's dying. All right, so we'll try fan first and cool like always. Here we go, first try on the easy start. There's fan. And there's cool. Well, I don't know if it started or not, but I I didn't hear anything. So let's see here. That's crazy if that's uh, all it does. Let's see what we got. Holy smokes. It's on. It's pulling 1247 watts and it didn't even, like usually the trailer shakes a little bit when, the, when it first starts and nothing. That is insane. That's awesome. Okay. So that was the first start, and it's already working way better than it did before. I'm excited to try this on the generator. Let's go try that again. All right, so now we're gonna try the easy start on the generator. It's running in eco mode, so you'll be able to hear the engine rev up as it starts and plateaus. And we're gonna be recording. We got the watt meter to your right, and the amp meter bottom left. Let's give her a try. All right, you can probably hear the generator in the background. So well, let's go, like always, high. Fan first. Generator surged ever so slightly. I'm gonna go cool and then pull it over. I believe it started. Let's go take a look. Yep, it started. Just like all the other tests, we're pulling about 10 amps there, and about 1200 watts there. And the generator is running. It's not even its highest, I don't believe. Let's try turning the eco mode off. No. Yeah, it revs up a little bit more. So with eco mode on, you are saving a little bit of fuel. 
Great, so this is the new test setup. We're gonna run it off a little inverter, some very small batteries. This is the meter for the small batteries right here. You can see you have watts at the bottom, you have the battery voltage at the top, and you have the amps being pulled from the batteries. This is a 48 volt battery bank. We're sitting at 46 volts currently because the batteries are fairly dead. Full charge is 50 volts. And we are currently pulling 86 watts and we got 124 volts and we're pulling 60 watts on the AC side and 85 watts on the DC side. That's the inefficiencies of the inverter and this meter is only about 99, 98% accurate or 97%, something like that. But that's why we have three meters. We can gauge them all together. We got an amp meter, we got a watt meter, and we got a watt and amp meter there. And we're gonna try it out and see how well we can start a 15,000 BTU air conditioner off this. Okay, so we're about to try running off of the 3,000 watt inverter with the tiny little battery. And I, I did not do this test without the micro uh, easy start. And the whole reason is is because this has a very high chance of blowing that inverter up. So I was not going to even try it. So we're going to try it now. Now that it doesn't have that really high surge. And let's see what happens. Let's go fan first. No problem with the fan. Then we're on cool. Now when I turn this down, you should hear a little click. There we go. We heard the click. Now let's go outside and see what's going on. Alright, so everything's running really well. We got 117, 116 volts on the inverter. We're pulling about 1330 watts here on the DC side and we're pulling 1270 watts on the AC side. About 10 amps, 10.7 amps. So yes, it will start on a tiny little battery like this. This will last approximately an hour running when the batteries are full. So easy start, runs on little inverter generator, no problem. Little inverter, no problem. And of course, grid power.